For your Pokemon Go account needs, make sure you check out PokemonGoForSale.com. Enter in that promo code of BigVic5BN for 20% off. Safe and secure, instant delivery. You're able to change the trainer name and nickname. You choose the accounts. If you want a legendary, look at the legendaries. Highest CP, obviously. You want to go ahead and not go too far ahead. You can go 2700 plus. Get yourself some ultra rare Pokemon. Go ahead and take a look at those. Reasonably priced for level 31. Very reasonably priced. This is where I come to get some of my, get some of my accounts from when I'm looking to do some things. Which I will have a giveaway coming up um, tomorrow, actually. When I'll fast, you can like and comment this video. So again, make sure you check this place out. PokemonGoForSale.com. All your Pokemon Go account needs. All right. Comment far for home for the giveaway. Okay. Discount code BIGVIC5BN. -I -I -B All right. I currently have a S9 Plus pulled up. I'm going to be discussing rooting or flashing. And how do you know which one you need to do? Now, if you have um, a newer Samsung phone and you're in the U.S., it's going to be pretty much impossible to go ahead and uh, root your phone so I suggest flashing now the flashing will be good up until I believe the S9 and the Note 9 you can still flash those to get those back to um, get, that, get those back to the 2018 software to spoof on those however if you have 2019 software on your phone you know, 2019 security patch then that pretty much goes out the window and I suggest you get yourself another phone to spoof with because you can't spoof on the S10 at all and anything running Android 9 you can't spoof on that so that pretty much throws that out the window right away now if you have a phone mm -hmm. around with, like I said with the 2018 software security patch and how do you know what the security patch is you go to your settings alright give me one second here go ahead and give me one second Settings, about phone, software information, as you see on my Android 9 on my Galaxy S10 Plus at the moment. Scroll up, scroll all the way down, you can see a security patch level at the bottom. Android security patch level, March 1st, 2019. This is my S10 Plus. My S9 Plus is still good because I stopped the software updates. Now, here's where it gets tricky at. Now, for those of you looking to go ahead and say, okay, well, if I, what if I wanted to flash to a previous software? So, like I said, I'm going to pull up the S9 Plus. Yeah. Facebook group going ham. Now here's the February 2018 software here. Sorry about that. So that was saying for the nine Galaxy S9 Plus. Mine currently has a September 2018. What's what? What's up? 2018 software patch. So that's where I'm gonna keep it at, so I can spoof on it. Anything past that, I know I can't spoof on. So I've had to flash it a few times. Now, as I mentioned with Samsung, their, new, their newer phones, like the Note 9, the S9 Plus, you know, anything recent in the last two years, you can't root those phones on the U.S. In the U.S. Other countries, you're able to root those phones by getting the bootloader unlocked. These companies here won't let you unlock the bootloader unless the phone, I guess, I guess you can say, unless it's paid. And full if you're financing, if you're not, even if you're not financing, they still don't want you unlocking the phone. So if you're actually able to go ahead and unlock the phone, it takes a pro takes a long time. I'll say about a week, sometimes two, to get the phone unlocked. That's, that's too much. Don't unlock unlocking the bootloader so you can use it elsewhere. Too much of a hassle. So I, I always say, hey, if you just you can flash it, just flash it. Anyway, that's that. So moving on from that, I'm gonna get the rambling. So besides that, if you have a brand, if you have a newer phone, like I said. I try to shy away from rooting it unless you, you know, if you had an older phone, say 2017, something like that, I would say just root it instead of worried about flashing it back and forth. Just root, just root the phone. The phone's 2017 or whatever. My suggestion is just to root it. If it's 2018, then yeah, you kind of still work with it either way, but that's my suggestion there. Now, some people, 
I I have an iPad as a backup just in case whatever. What I went ahead and did was uh, took myself out there and said, hey, let me check Amazon and see what I can find for our iPads. And as sexy as now, I got an iPad because uh, what Niantic is looking to do is go ahead and make it to where you can't spoof. They're increasing the RAM on the phone so to the point for the game to the point where you can't use the iPhone 5 and iPhone 6 anymore. That's that's the plan. So I suggest, hey, you know, you, you can go ahead and get one. As you can see, I got, I'll leave the link in the description for it. You can find it here. Amazon, not too bad. Oh, the iPad, I even have a link for that as well. This is like this this is the actual iPad I have myself. Now, you don't have to worry about them increasing anything for that. That's it's relatively easy. You got the iPad, you can always update the stuff on the iPad. You don't need to worry about that. So, so I'll leave those links there in the description for you guys in case you need those. Make that a little easier for you. Now, let me break down a little more on the difference between rooting and flashing for you. Now, the thing, now here's one thing. Flashing does not void your warranty. Now, that's very important nowadays. Something happens to your phone, you need to take it in and say, hey, what's going on? Oh, you got root access unlocked. You voted the warranty. You can't do nothing for you. Boom. Done deal. Now, that's why I say if it's an older phone, it's easier unless you're like a super pro and you know how to go ahead and read whatever. But once it trips that security setting on your phone, then you're pretty much screwed. So I said, hey, if you can flash it, flash it. If you can't, you can't. Now, the difference is now flashing your phone, most of the time it just puts the older software that was on the phone before back on the phone. Rooting the phone may not do that. It just stops, prevents any further updates, but it also avoids the warranty and goes ahead and uh, unlocks other privileges, 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 sorry, which uh, wouldn't be accessible on that device. So flashing a custom ROM, having your phone do things, having it run a little faster. Go ahead. Now rooting for two different operations, mod modifying the operating system, which as I mentioned before, I flashed my S9 several times. I'm probably gonna put up a video on rooting Show them someone how to root a phone, and then show them how to flash a phone. So again, just to reiterate, now if you're trying to downgrade your software, your Google Play services, and it won't downgrade anymore to at least 12.6.85, then you're going to want to go ahead and try to flash your software back to the previous version, which you're going to need to be able to find. Okay? If you're not able to do that, because the bootloader changed, what you're wondering if the bootloader is, if you look at the baseband version here, if you count, if you look at the far right and you count from the far right to the left, five numbers, five over to the left, it's, this is 3D A, well, 3D S A1. One would be the bootloader. Now, if you go look for your software and you look for the previous month and that doesn't match the one there, so let me go ahead and look this up real quick. Let's see here. For example, just a prime example here. So that was a one. There now you look here. This is the S9s. If you look at this here and you count five over from the left, one and one, it matches. You're able to flash that. You're still able to flash that software. Okay. Now if you come and look at it and you find that you find the bootloader number there on the next version you find on the previous version of your phone you had before, and it's say a two or a three. You go back. Okay. Oh, okay. Crap. Okay. Ready to go. You look, count over, and say this one was a three. Or two, because the number goes up instead of down. So we go from one to two to three to four to five. So say it was a two, then you wouldn't be able to flash the phone. At that point, I would suggest you root the phone or get another device, because then you can't go back in software at all without breaking down all the stuff. And it's extremely compli complicated, doable, but complicated to the point where I would have just flashed, I, mean, I would just root it at that point. So again, count over that number there doesn't match the bullet number here doesn't match this one here that one and that one if one was a one and the other one was a three then you wouldn't be able to do it probably sounds crazy but that's the way the cookie crumbles might be might sound pretty confusing but i hope that helps you guys i'm out now as far as me not wanting to leave anybody out in the code i get a lot of people comment with those weird no offense to anybody, but those weird phones, uh, I don't even know how to I start the X. You, you, see, you see, look at this screen. The X, I, A, M, me, my, whatever, red notes and all the other phones. It's very simple. I mean, to me, honestly, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to get your device back to um, 
previous software, if you upgraded to Android 9 or whatever the case is. Now, for example, here I have um, the Mi 8 stock firmware. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and look at that stock firmware collection here. That's pretty much all you got to put. You're going to need a computer, though, okay? Or you can just flat out root your phone, okay? So as I mentioned, I was going to say, the, I don't know if it's called me or my, whatever, whatever. I, anyway, it's not that hard to go ahead and find your software for your device. Um, it's not as, not, as, not, not as complicated. You just need a USB cable, pretty much, and uh, a computer. But you, so you still do require that. Or you can go the other route and just root your phone. Maybe try a one-click root. But I would suggest um, giving, this method, giving this method a shot should be a little easier than other Android devices in minus pain. So pretty much search your device type and the firmware you're looking for for that device. Okay. This will be a collection of the firmware. And I'll scroll down. I'm not going to get into it because I don't have that device. But I will go over just briefly here showing you guys what's what. Stupid ads. Okay. So as you scroll, we have the table of contents here. These are the specifications for the device. The vendors of stock firmware. Now this here lists all the firmware builds to date. It's very easy to find your own build, obviously, as I mentioned. Um, settings about phone, software information to find your build. Now these are the different updates over time. Now what you're going to want to do is find the one that takes you back to the previous update where you were able to spoof before your Android, overall Android OS updated, which I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's not the same as far as you know play services and whatnot. So this look this here lists all the firmware for the device and everything and the prerequisites for that. So I'm gonna scroll down a little more here for you. Which tells you a guide on how to install this. That's even more, you know. I can't really walk because I don't have that phone, so I can't really go over that, but this is to give you a general idea if you have that device, how to go ahead and look for your information. Now, this, these are the steps here that started already. You know, download a bit of, little bit of you know stuff here, fast boot. So pretty much, you're gonna be using the fast boot method. Let me go back here. Sorry about that. Now this is the step by step here, telling you exactly how you install it once you have that software you're looking for. That's that. There. Let me go ahead and pull up the other one here. Oh, that's the one I didn't want to pull out. There we go. And this is that red me or my Note 5. You get a lot of people asking about that phone. Same with that as well. Or you can check, check the firmware file down below. But this one here gives you the directions. So in case you're wondering. Again, same thing here. All your firmware for that phone. Which is not as much stuff piled up like, you know, some other phones. Okay. Find what you need. Stupid cat. I don't like cat. I'm not a cat person. No offense to anybody who is. Now, upgrade. Obviously, this makes it easier to upgrade or downgrade your phone by flashing the stock ROM and solve problems. Revert back to stock to gain. I mean, warranties, you know, different stuff like that. But that's obviously not why we're doing this. So now here, this list here, if you have one of those red, red my, red me, Note 5, this here tells you the software OS here, which is nice. Okay. 7.1, 7.1. And then some of the newer builds, 8.1. You're not going to want that 8.1, okay? On this phone here, you're obviously going to want the 7.1. The 8.1, I don't believe you can spoof on that. So, you just know it needs to be at least a 7.1 or 8.0 to spoof on that. Just to give you a general idea, okay? Now, I'm not going to drag this video out. So, like I said, I am going to be doing a, a, an account giveaway the other winner. They know who they are. I'm gonna ask you now. Not so um, tomorrow, depending on who likes and comments on this video here, please do be subscribed. I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and go with Fire from Home in the comment section. I give away tomorrow. I'm out.